Man, today, man, um, let's talk about uh, being your authentic self. Ooh. Let's talk about it. When the last time you told somebody, keep their head up, because you concerned about it. Stick and move, we can get it done. Call it unity, it ain't no way around it. Cultivating, we get motivation from the big guy, we don't play about it. Going hard for the gang, showing love, bones, tolerate, hate around it. Sticking to keeping it real, we never keep up with the scope. Want to be more than do more than most. Want to be more than do more than most. This episode is brought to you by Lucilla's Cleaning Service, where your cleanliness is our business. Now, this company specializes in commercial and residential cleaning. So if you want a free quote, be sure to reach out to their website at www.lucillascleaningservice.com. We don't play about it. Nope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, people, man? Welcome back to Be More to Do More podcast. Your boy Tone in the building, and Henry Allen Hart in D third. Don't forget the three. I forgot to do our little, uh, whatchamacallit, Be More to Do More, where we um, help you become the person you need to become yep. to do the things you need to do or called to do. I'm still practicing, bro. <laughs> 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 I know I said I was still practicing last uh, episode, man. But what's going on, man? What's up, man? Yeah, this is new. Different. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might not be seeing us right now, but you sure can hear us, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we still in the building, man. What you got, brother? What you got? Man, today, man, um, let's talk about uh, being your authentic self. Ooh. Let's talk about being your authentic self. Let's do it. Um, So, all right, story time. Let's go. Start off with story time. Let's go. So, uh, me and my wife, Uh my wife put 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 me on some of these shows, right? Right. Right. Love is Blind, (laughs) season four. (laughs) Man. um, So, it would, but, and I don't want to tell the the story on what happened or whatever, but this is what it made me realize, though, is... Um, you kind of have to know what you what you, what you want to do and where you want to go and just kind of the whole purpose theme, right? And right, just kind of whole right. thing. But like, but also, um, you got to be authentically you. That's true. Because when you're not, when things get real, mm-hmm. it's gonna show. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a um, there was okay. So there's a story. I mean, or a, um, you know, Love Is Blind. It's this it's this show where people date. Before seeing them, right, and they right. they fall in love based on who the person is <laughs> or portraying themselves to be, right, um, instead of how they look. Okay, so um, with that being the case, right, there's um, it's a reality show. Yeah, yeah. And with reality shows, you got a lot of people that come on these reality shows that um, that um. I would just want to accept that. They have other ulterior motives. Ulterior motives. That's yeah, it. yeah, That's yeah. It. Other intentions. You know, and and sometimes you can't tell, right? Sometimes, right, like, right, right, and right. I and I don't want to say right, I'm gonna use him as an example, right? And I don't, I don't think that was the intention of his story, but it kind of looks that way. So you got, right. um, so you know, you got, um, and this is the first person that pops in my mind is, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> call him like, is, is it Mike Bliss? Mike, Mike. Bless Mike Ooh. Pless or something like that. Maybe no, maybe that, maybe somebody else. But anyway, dude named Mike. Mm. He's on Country Wayne skits. Oh, Big Mike. Big Mike. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you're talking about. So. Oh man, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> and I'm not saying he, but he was on. Was uh, it Ready to Love? Ready to Love with uh, first, Nifty Tommy. The first. He was first, like, was first season. I think it was the first season. Yeah. But I'm not saying that he used that to get, you know, to get famous, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but there are people that do that. Right, 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 and I'm not saying right. this person I'm talk that that I'm talking about. Right, um, on this, you know, this this uh this you know story time, but it used that, but it just it kind of came out that way. It's like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna do this just to, because it's fun. I'm you know whatever, and you know, getting the match yeah. <laughs> with somebody, <laughs> right. and like now you you know you you trying to figure it out, but you mm. you know, and long story short, she ended up getting exposed. Like, 
I don't know if I want to be with them. I don't know if I'm with anybody. I don't know if I want to get married. Like I just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so okay. it's like, dang, okay. like, like, why do you even come on the show? Right. If that's what you know. She said she was crazy. Yeah, you know, she did say that. I saw that part. She did. Say that. <laughs> she did. Um, but it's like, but you know, and I think you know, as leaders, um, we have to make sure whatever we do, we're doing it being our authentic self because. Mm-hmm. You will get exposed, right, right? Trying to be somebody that you're not, right? Like I just, you know, we just, we just um, did this. Um, I don't know. Let's. It's another type of personality test, right? And one of the things that that the personality test talks about is um, they call it woo, like woo, <laughs> right? <laughs> And uh, you know I like these personalities. Yeah, they, yeah, you, they you legit. About, man. They legit, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. They legit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I learned a lot about myself. You got to send me that one too. Yeah, <laughs> it's long though. It's like hundred and seventy-seven questions. Yeah, it's worth it though. It's worth yeah, it because I'm gonna have to it, do one Sunday and just yeah, do that. yeah. Um, but um, it's definitely worth it. But it, but anyway, if you if you if you lead in a way that's not authentic to you. Mm-hmm. People can see through that, man. Right. Like, right, they can right. see through it, and then you're going to end up having a reverse effect um, that you want to have, you mm. know, because it's just not authentically you. Right. That's where I got um, – it reminds me of that that quote uh, when we had uh, Big Mike come up here, Michael uh, Michael Warner. Yeah. And I think his, his, his quote was uh, – Big some, Mike the poet. Yeah, the Mike. To him. Number one poet. He said um, – what was the, the quote? Um I began. I became the person I was until I stopped being the person I wasn't. Maybe, to, yeah, <laughs> to some degree, something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was definitely something like that, for right? Sure. So uh, it's crazy because that actually lines up with the book that I've been reading about. Uh, it's called A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, mm-hmm. and he's talking about like the ego state and um, talking about being, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the things he talked about is about like how ego makes up these different things, you know, like, okay. Um, as far as like making up an identity, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I want to be something or portray myself as something yep. that I'm truly not, you know what I mean? And I think that life will cause conflicts that would eventually expose that ego. You yep. know what I mean? And either, and either we get mad about it and 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 close ourselves off, mm-hmm. or we learn from it and just soften up a little bit and just become, you know, who we truly are. So, question for you: uh-huh. Is there a balance? Like, is there a balance of like, of again, again, becoming who you need to be? And because, for example, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say that you got somebody, um, like a relationship that you have. I don't know. Let's say a cousin. Right, right. right. Mm-hmm. And you got a cousin that you know when you see them, like, you're going to have to, like, dap them up every time you see them. Like, you got to physically go over there, show them some love physically. Uh, are they going to feel away? Or they going to feel away. <laughs> but let's say, <laughs> let's say either you don't feel like it or, or like, or let's say, oh, like I got, I got, mm-hmm. let's say that they, you know, they dirty. Right. And you got, you know, your fresh, you know, outfit on. Right. And they just got done working in the yard. Right. Like, do you make that adjustment to fit that person? Or how do you how do you handle that? I mean, first of all, why should you? <laughs> no, nah, seriously, though, why should why should we? Because you care about them, right? You know? Yeah, they care about you, too, though. Ooh, okay. You know, like, that. I think that's where boundaries come into play. Like, and I see that was my problem though. That still is kind of like mm-hmm. I would uh, kind of form myself uh, in a way that would make people comfortable, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, or or show people that you know, um, I care. But at the end of the day, I am a person too, you know, with standards and with boundaries. So if you're not interested, and getting to know me and learning what I care about, mm-hmm. then why should I have to form or conform myself into what you think I should be? Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I I, I believe it goes both ways. Like, eh, nah, I don't feel like doing it today. 
like to this day, man, like it's too much energy to do that too, bro. <laughs> nah, no, for real. The heavy, you notice that? Like it's a lot of energy to put on. Yeah. Like it I, is. bro, I'm. 36, man, and, you know, a new father at 36. <laughs> My energy is being dispensed that way. Yeah. So, like, it, it's really tough, man. It's, you know, it's tough. I think the older I get, it's tougher. You know, it, it's tougher. Is that a word? Tougher? Yeah. I think so. It's going to yeah. be a word today. <laughs> <laughs> it's tougher to uh, to just put on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? No, I, I like it. Um, I like. I just. <sighs> How do you feel about it? I don't know, man. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm still. T- I'm, I'm torn. There's a reason why I'm torn, right? Mm-hmm. Because I, ain't, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's like me being a people pleaser, but like maybe they're not at the point in their life where they can make that adjustment and be mature enough about making that adjustment, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe it's my. I don't know. Maybe I put it on myself to conform to them until they can get to the point where they don't need that or they don't take a dis- disrespect. What if they don't? Because you made it comfortable for them. Mm. <laughs> Dang, <yeah. laughs> it should always be this way, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Ooh, lyric of the day. Oh, we got one. Lyric of the day. Bars. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Right? Let's go. Finesse, yeah. right? Right. Because like maybe Let's go. And, and and I think it's I think it's I think you make a, a good point because uh-huh. you can baby somebody. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Into it. Uh-huh. Into like, you know I guess you gotta I think somebody said one day, you gotta treat people how not treat people. You got you have to teach people how to treat you. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's mostly right. talking about relationships and like people teach people how to love you or whatever. Right. But that might be a, a, a good example because the more you conform, the more right. you, you know, and then yeah. it becomes a problem when they, when you, when you don't, you know, right. show, them that, show them that love. But mm. somebody else did it and they ain't trip on it. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Man, it's, 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 it's weird, man, because as easy, it is, as easy as it is to say this, <laughs> it is a tough practice. Yeah. And... Like I say, it's, it it takes more energy to pretend than it just to be myself. But then I still have to deal with the backlash of me just being myself because mm-hmm. now, oh, you think you all that. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> now I got to get back to my old self and conform. No, 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 no. Right. That's not what I mean. Right. No, no. I just don't. I'm, I'm, you know, now I'm explaining. Yeah. Versus, you know, just being cool with, yeah, nah, that's just not what, I, what I'm into or. It's not me, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think that people just are used to an idea of who you are. They mm-hmm. just they like that idea and they want you to continue to be that. Why do you think so many people go in on celebrities and stuff like that when they make a mistake or, you know, like yeah. when they break code or whatever, a break. Uh, what do you call it? They break habit or whatever. You know? Character. Yeah, character. character. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Wait, no, that's like character. Well, yeah, just say yeah. <laughs> it basically, when they break character, right? Like people start looking at them sideways. Like mm-hmm. you know, like yeah, bro, he a human. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's real. That's real. Um, I so question right? Mm-hmm. So maybe think too about um, all right, being your authentic self, right? Mm-hmm. And the balancing the idea of changing. Or adjusting, or whatever. What about growth? Growth. What about what does that look like for growth? Because the reason why I ask that is because, like, we're like, we we're talking, we we're talking on the, on the way here, right? And mm-hmm. we we're talking about. I was like, man, you know what? I was like, I feel like me being cheap <laughs> <laughs> is affecting. Um, my ability to become super wealthy. Right. Um, but that's just who I am. I've just always been money conscious. Or, frugal. <laughs> that's what they call it. You know? <laughs> My wife might call it cheap. You know, She might call it that. But that's what I call, I call it frugal, right? I'm, right. Just, I'm aware of how much I spend. Uh-huh. So I never be in a position where I don't have. Oh, um, that makes sense. But maybe that's a negative trait. Huh. I got my own money issues. 
<laughs> so uh, <laughs> you want to talk about it? <laughs> it be more to do more turn right. into a financial, right. <laughs> you right. know? It's going. It's going to call Rashad and, and uh, what's the oh yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Iron Your Leisure. Your Let's leisure. go ahead and call. Hey man, we need some help over here. Right. Be more to do right. more, man. We <laughs> <laughs> nah, I I get it, bro. So so the question is about growth. Uh, growth. Like what do you where do you draw the line on? Okay, I just need to grow in this area, mm-hmm. versus, and now this ain't me. Well, I guess the solid foundation or the solid. What is the evidence? Mm-hmm. Like what are the what results are you looking for? So, it just goes back to like goal setting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you looking for this result? then there may be some areas that I might have to adjust or, you know what I mean, just be mm-hmm. uncomfortable and changing, you know. I think, like, being who you are and evolving is, I think it's a difference between change and evolving, first, oh, okay. first and foremost. Uh, I can't change who I am, but I can evolve. Okay. I mean, I can only get better, you know. I can't change into Henry, <laughs> but I can get better as Anthony, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So. There's no way possible I can be like you, right. you know, because God created you like you. And nobody, there's no Henry. There's a Henry Harden the first, second, and you're the third and the fourth, but there's no third mm-hmm. but you. So I can evolve and grow from, okay, so, like, I know that I'm frugal. How has this helped me and how has this hurt me? What results? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do I need to... It's not a linear thing. I don't think it's a linear, linear thing. Do I need to be frugal in this area? Because there's a possibility where my ROI may be, you know, healthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So, like, should I just spend money here? Or do I need to just, you know, wean back? My problem is that I want to invest in everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the oppor- not an opportunist, but uh, what they call that? Uh, uh, optimistic, yeah. And when it comes to investing, yeah. well, He's a serial investor, yeah. <laughs> the risk can be like so bad, right. you know what I mean. <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, no, but I can make this work, right? <laughs> <laughs> because all we got to do, oh, <laughs> you know man. what I mean. Yeah, so, come on, whole plan, and f- that's a scene you right there. Yeah, just go yeah. Ahead, just cut I, your interest, just like, all right, if we do this, this, and this. <laughs> It'll work out. Yeah, yeah. No, so it ain't gonna it won't. Right, right. I think that's why we work out. So I'm like, yo, we can invest in this because it can work. And, you know, there's risk. Yeah. If, if, you know, if we lose, we might be homeless. But right, right. It can work. <laughs> <laughs> but it might work. But, but we got it. Just go ahead and do it. Just do it. It's right. a good plan. It's a right. good plan. Right. No, yeah. that's real, though. That's real. It's the difference between evolving and changing. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. So I think like now, now it's like how do we manage that? You know yeah. how how do I manage my frugality or my need to invest? How do I manage that? Mm-hmm. When do I apply self discipline and when do I just let lo- let mm-hmm. go? And I, my pain, you know, my pain don't cost much. Yeah. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's yeah. real. Um. So let, let's look at leaders, right? Leadership mm-hmm. and kind of growing. Because we talked about personally, right? Right. What does that look like for a leader that, you know, let's say that this leader just took on this team. They just got, you know, just got this position, mm-hmm. just took on this team. And they have a very different approach right? than this team is used to. Mm. How do they continue to be their authentic self? at the same time grow this team to where they're a successful team, but they're different. But they're different. Mm-hmm. I think that's the beauty of it all. Man, oh, in Six Sigma, we got something that called that's called... Hold on, what's Six Sigma? Six Sigma uh, is a process... S- Sigma? Six... Like sigma, like the the uh, sigma, like the sigma like was in college, on, like <laughs> stumping on the beat, yeah, like a sigma, yeah. <laughs> six is the number six, and sigma. Okay, so it, it's a process improvement theory. Mm-hmm. You know, it is what um, um, aviation companies use for airplanes and uh, the system on how to move 
crowds through the airport and stuff like that. Yeah. You know. Um, in Six Sigma, we learned that when you're forming a team, I think they call it uh, group theory or something like that. Okay. You have forming, storming, norming, and performing. What? <laughs> storming? No. no. Forming. Forming. You're forming your group. Okay. You form the group. You get a bunch of different people together. Okay. Then storming. Storming is the process of where the group have a lot of conflicts uh-huh. because each personality is different. So okay. there's going to be a lot of friction there. Is that like brainstorming or is it just like, no, like storming because it's like, like a thunder, thunderstorm? Like it's, it's like a whole bunch I just, of... Yeah, I just explained this to somebody um, else. They thought it was brainstorming. I was like, nah, it's like a thunderstorm. Okay, like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, because you, you're going back and forth. There's differences there and, you know, you get mad at each other and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Every group go through that. Yeah, that's Some real. group don't make it through that, though. Mm. But when you make it through... You have a certain level of respect for each other. You see each other's strengths, weaknesses. You learn how to gel. Then they call that norming. Mm. Now everything is normal because we family now. I know how this part. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then performing. That's when you go into the championship arena. You know what I mean? Because yeah. now you know how to move as a team. Uh, so doobies, 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 doobies. Shout out to my doobies out there. Doobies. If you're if you're a leader. Take inventory right now. No, yeah. Where are you with your team? Are you in the forming stage where mm-hmm. you're still trying to put everything together? Right. Are you in the storming stage where y'all just got all kind of conflict? <laughs> got a lot of it's beef. Just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody, everybody at each other's throats, right? It's on right. edge. Every time you walk into the, the room, right. y'all go to y'all go to y'all go to lunch and you know, you just, you know, beef. Look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, you know, are you at that stage? Are you at the norming state where it's just like, okay, we just got past all of our differences. It's relaxed, right? right? And that's, a, that's uh, and to me, I don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. I, don't, I know you're going to get through the rest of it, but, like, that's a very dangerous stage. Relaxed. The norming stage because, uh-huh. you know, once you kind of get through the storm, uh-huh. it's like, man, I'm just happy I ain't got to fight every day with these folks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm just, man, I, like, because, like, because, because, when you move to perf- to performing, right? right? Was that was that the final stage? Or was yeah, it, yeah, okay. yeah. When you move to the to the performing stage, that's when you have to realize that okay, it's gonna be. And I don't know. And I'm I'm up here telling this philosophy like I don't made it up, but right. in my head, right? I don't know the philosophy. I don't know, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in my head, the performing stage can also take you back to the storming stage because now you're kind of pushing people to be better or greater than they've been. Mm-hmm. And, right, 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 right. You know, you can kind of stir some stuff back up, and I don't know. Maybe that's completely wrong. That's not the point of it. But in my head, that's kind of where my mind went. Oh, yeah. clean it up for me. Clean it up. I don't know. No, I mean, you might be right. I guess it depends on the process of the storming phase. Did y'all get through it just to get through it, or did y'all get through it with some type of understanding of each mm. other? You know, um. Like, I had situations, you know, and this past week we talked about it. And I was like, bruh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, wow. And you mentioned something about my communication. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, makes sense. I'm talking to them like I'm talking to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... I, I've learned something from the conflict mm-hmm. versus mm-hmm. just, nah, I just want everything to be better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Trying to band-aid, and, you know what I mean? So yeah. now I'm coming to the table with a different perspective. Throwing some flexi seal on it, huh? Just spout. You ever seen that commercial? The, <laughs> the, 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 the guy, it's like a whole thing. He put some tape on it. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That fixes the boat and not a boat riding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we do it because conflict is it's uncom- it's uncomfortable, bro. Yeah. Let's just say it. Yeah. Especially like our people, man. I, I don't know. I don't know if any other race struggle with that, mm-hmm. but I think we struggle with conflict. You know, I, I got. I know it's a lot to do with self discipline. Like I mentioned earlier, because I'm afraid of myself more than I'm, I am of other mm-hmm. people. I don't know if I overreact. Mm-hmm. So I think that's that's what the issue is. But we need healthy conflict. Yeah, you know, to get understanding of each other and to learn from each other. Yeah, I mean that's how you. I mean that's how you thrive, right? Like when you mm-hmm. have, man, when you when you can. Be able to communicate mm-hmm. like your feelings to somebody 
and being able to like go from beefing mm-hmm. to best friends. Right, right, right. Like it's mu- it's 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 a much better relationship right. than just man, we click from day one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It you is. Know? It is. It is. It is. It is. Um my brother Snipe and uh Big, shout out Snipe, man. <laughs> they they tell me all the time how they met. They mm-hmm. they used to be like enemies in school, you know. <laughs> big is this big guy. And Snipe, you know, he 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 cool and you know, he got hands and all that, mm-hmm. you know. And so they were just like looking each other up and down, like they just had beef for no reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The middle but, school beef, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now they are the tightest. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like it's like a brotherhood. So yeah. I think those are the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I it, think diversity brings. Oh no, not diversity. Diversity does too. But I meant mm-hmm. to say adversity. Right. Adversity brings um, a deeper level of connection as well. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I never forget. I went through another guess, another story time. Story went through it through. Uh, we need a we need a, a something to, <laughs> to go into the story time. But go ahead, bro. Go ahead. But go ahead. um, but yeah, I remember I went through a situation, and the people that are around me, you know, when I went through that situation, mm-hmm. like they're my dogs to this day. Like, oh, that's the that's, story. Is time. that a story? Time? <laughs> My bad. They they your dogs to this day. I was looking for something. Yeah, my dogs to this day. And, uh-huh. You know, if they call me if they need anything. Like, mm-hmm. like because like it, that like because you know people you know what they what they say like in your worst moments mm-hmm. that's you can tell who your real friends are. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's who you need. Yeah, right, 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 so, right. You know, it's just it's it's um you know when you, when we get that extreme loyalty from people like. Mm-hmm. You gotta cherish that. That's true. That's true. And that's real. It's crazy how we just like we we uh, we'll start off with some like conversation and just go in, in. <laughs> but it all comes back to authenticity, yeah. right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you just really kind of knowing me as a a, a whole. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like now we can we can click because yep. you saw the worst of me, right? You saw the best of me. Yep. It's like you kind of figured out what you could do with both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's, and, it's, and that's the thing too, like relationships too. Like, mm-hmm. there might be a a, a a female that man I could never be with <laughs> because I like I, I used to say uh, I used to, <laughs> I used to say I, I, I've grown I guess, but right I used to say but I could never be with somebody that 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 nag right. just nag for no reason right and right. just right. like like what are you talking about like what like yeah what like. And just nagging, I could never be with somebody like that, right? But right. As a, but another person, you know, may see that and be like, you know what, I can deal with that, right? Right. You know, but you know, it's just it's just different things that different people have mm-hmm. that you know some some there's some women that can, and you know what, I can deal with a guy cheating on me, long they you know this this, <laughs> this they, they don't you know we good yeah, we good that's authenticity that's authenticity to yourself. Hey, going back to the show, <laughs> like. Yeah. Am I, okay, so um, Chris Ant, this is the first show that Chris Ant and I didn't get to watch together mm-hmm. the, the fourth uh, season. But I was just talking because we saw bits and pieces of the, the young lady who was like, I don't know, I don't know. You know, we saw bits, <laughs> I saw bits and crazy. pieces of that. Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, I'm a little shallow. I'm going to mm-hmm. just be real. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel me? I'm yeah. a little shallow. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. You know, I don't know what's on the other side. I I'm, I'm I know me. Yeah. I'm just being yeah. real. Yeah. So me knowing me and being authentic, I'm not going on the show. Right. right. <laughs> so like, why did you go on the show? Right. You know what I mean? So like, I think just knowing who you are and just being real with that. Yeah. And you know, like, and people might say, well, you shouldn't be so shallow. But I am. <laughs> still, still evolving. I'm still evolving. Yeah. I'm may still not ever get there. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it may not. Yeah, that's but what I, I'm but saying. But I feel, I feel I mean, again, everybody has everybody has those, those things that's like, right. Mm, I ain't giving that up. Like, yeah. I just, mm, <laughs> oh. it, ain't, it ain't worth me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just right. ain't worth it for me. You know right. I, I mean? I think that's, I think that's okay too. Right. I don't know if, you know, if it's not like harming nobody, right? Like, I think right. It's, you know, that's who you are. It's your authentic self. Yeah. And I think that's, that's the balance too of like, of is being your authentic self harming other people? Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. What it, yeah. So like, 
I'm a bit of a butthole sometimes. <laughs> I am. Like right. I'm, I'm very. I, sometimes I can be very direct. Right. Right. And I can care right. less how you feel about it. Right. Like because it's the truth. Right. 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 But is that again? Is changing versus evolving? Like. I have to evolve or mm -hmm. have to continue to evolve in that space because I've evolved to the point where I don't really do it as much at work. Right. But like with my family, <laughs> I'm my authentic <laughs> self. <laughs> I can feel. <laughs> they feel it. Y'all right? get it. <laughs> yeah. But what I realized though, what I realized though is that mm -hmm. is that it does change because everybody can't take that, right? Right. Yeah. And it does change the perspective, the perspective or perception of of who you are, right? Right. right. Especially when you start to reach success and all that, and you know, it becomes more, more. Um, I don't know, like, uh, um, I don't know. You know how to go, <laughs> but um, so I have to be more conscious of like, okay, dang, now I have to, I have to. That's a place where I have to evolve it personally, right? Now right. because right. I don't mean nothing by it, you know. They don't, right. they don't mean nothing by it, but like. It's just my thoughts. That's how I feel. Right. I'm my mama's child. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she said I can be a little bossy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm my mama's child. Right. Right. And, right. Right. And I and you know and, and my dad was very direct too. You know he mm. you know he and mine being direct as well. But like right. So it's just one of those things where I just I gotta I have to realize that all right all right Henry you have to be able to communicate differently or the same energy that you put into evolving right professionally. Why yes, is that though? I, I just want to know why. Which part? Like, why do you feel like you have to evolve? And just on out that, of on, on yeah, that just piece, out of curiosity, is it is it some results you've been getting, or yeah, is it like, somebody it's all about just told you it's like, no, it's all about the results. Okay, like, it's, okay. It's, it's it's you know, like my brother might tell me like, like he might say something that, and it's weird, right? Like uh -huh. certain people can push your buttons, right? Like is or like certain people can say something that you really like. If somebody else said it, you're like, eh, whatever. Right. But right. this one person says, like, dang, like, dang, I need to check myself. Maybe I, maybe I, uh, you know, and I get, like, and I'm not, a, and sometimes you're just not aware of how, right. you know. Right. And again, it's not necessarily bad, mm -hmm. per se. Like, it's not, like, it's just, did you think about how this, how, when you said what you said, even though it's the truth. Right. Did you think about how it would affect this other person that you said it to? That's interesting. Okay. And that's why. Right. Because okay. I'm, I'm starting to think about things broad, more broadly than, just how I feel how about you, it. How you, yeah, that makes sense. Because I think so, when you're a leader, you got. I mean, I'm in my opinion, right? And you're, when you're a leader, you have to, you have to be that. You have to think that way of like, your decisions affect the whole team, right? But I think, and I don't know, maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just, maybe, and it maybe it's just one of those things like, I've evolved, and I don't know, maybe I could, could just be talking as a podcast. We just talk, we just talk, you know. <laughs> I know it's ain't JT and S, but we just, you know, I'm just, you know, that could be wrong. Right. I might, I might have a different thought, you Tomorrow. know, at, you know, yeah, <laughs> t today, even tonight, like, you know, maybe I didn't, eh, we don't right. want to say the same thing. But like, I feel like I'm becoming a leader in my family, right, right. Really, you know, good, bad, and different, you know, whatever, right. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm not, but like, but maybe that's why when I say something, mm -hmm. it cuts deeper because. People, people value your opinion. Bingo. Yeah, right, right. I feel the same. Because um, I'm, I'm the baby. Right. Like, I'm the baby of the bunch. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Big Bro. Yeah. Yeah, um, Big Bro. Um, that Yeah, that's interesting, man, that you pointed out the um, the results piece. I think I can get better at that because I, I still struggle with how I see things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how I see things is how I see things, you know, and I have to understand that there are other perspectives out there. I'm not saying I'm I'm totally like um, narrow minded, mm -hmm. you know, but with some things, I feel like okay, that's just how I see it. Yeah, you know, maybe it may not be the perfect time to tell you how I see it, mm -hmm. but that's just how I see it, you know. So I can I can get better with that. And just like I told you what we mentioned, what we talked about this past week, I was like, yeah, that's right. Because how we talk to ourselves, mm -hmm. like our own self-talk, sometimes tends to come off on others. <laughs> and then people are like, you know, and, and they be like, like, yo, you you so arrogant. Or, right, you know what right, I mean? I'm right. like, what? <laughs> what are you talking? Like, in my mind, I'm like, are you yeah. sick? Like, how? And I have the best intentions. Yeah. But then I have to listen to how I talk to myself. Like, oh, yeah, mm, okay, I I get it. I'm used to it. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so. I, and and that's, and that's the thing too. Is like, 
Cause it, and, it's, and, it's the, and it's the thing too, right? You may not even talk to them the way you would talk to yourself. Yeah. Like I talk to myself crazy. <laughs> like I'm talking about like, <laughs> but what you do, like, what, like, why would you do, like, it's like, man, you was, that was stupid. Why would you, that was stupid that you did it. Right. Like I, like I would li- like, I, I, and I, I don't, and I guess myself knows that I'm not it's calling not, myself stupid, stupid. Right. Just that decision or that, you know, instinct that, right. or, or right, instinct right, that, right, that right, right, you know, whatever. Right. So I just had to realize that, um, I just had to realize that even though I'm much less, I talk to somebody else, like I'm much harder on myself than I am somebody else, mm-hmm. even though that's true. But maybe I still need to take it down. It's a still a hard punch. punch. Yeah, it's still a hard punch, you know. <laughs> you, know you thought you know, you thought we would play boxing and then I just hit you with an uppercut. Bow. Bow. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, you be all right. You tough, right? That's my thing, man. I, I will say tone, you can do better, man. Tone, let's get better. Tone, like it's 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 motivation for yeah. me. Cause I'm I guess we're ambitious, you know, we're ambitious, uh ambitious people. So we're always expecting to get better. Hey, mm-hmm. get better, get better, get better. But like, if I do it like in my relationship or like my wife per se, mm-hmm. it's like, yo, ain't nothing never good enough for you. <laughs> 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 and I have to, I have to pull back and be like, oh, my bad, you know, <laughs> because you know, like, her ambition is not my ambition, yeah. and vice versa. You yeah. know, that doesn't mean I'm more ambitious. It's just that. Maybe it's not that serious to yeah. her, but it's serious. You know what I mean? Yeah. So having a newborn son now, I just have to kind of take that in consideration. <laughs> yeah. And I got and I'm a I'm gonna touch on this. I'm not gonna go too deep into it right now because I wanna mm-hmm. I wanna go a little bit deeper on it whenever we talk about purpose. Mm-hmm. Um but as leaders, man, because I kinda like you were saying, like mm-hmm. you can't put those same expectations on on your wife. That right. you have on yourself, right? Because your ambition is different from, and that's honestly like that's why me, um, that's part of the reason why you know my me and my wife broke up mm. before we got, of course, before we got married. Like, um, it was because, your cold feet, was cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that episode. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but like, I felt like I needed somebody that was you know driven. a little more driven, right? Right, and right. Um, and I think as, as leaders. We expect not. We know, like consciously, you know that that no, somebody's not going to be as um, as uh, driven as you, or like right. they're not going to want the same things that you. But, but even though you know that, you still kind of push that on them a little bit. Yeah, that's true. That's and, true. That's true. Um, but as leaders, you just kind of have to know, like, all right, let me get this person to where they're comfortable at, or. Let me get to this person to the point where they're they're performing, mm-hmm. but that don't mean that they have to do what I do. Right, right. They just need to perform. I think that's what leadership is, though. Mm-hmm. It's a servant. It's not really about us, you know, just seeing where where that person is, and in some way helping them develop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean to that to that place that they want to get to. Yeah. And, May not be billions or millions. <laughs> they may just want to <laughs> retire and get the heck home, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I get it. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, you got to think there's multiple facets of life, right? Right, right. Like, you have work, mm-hmm. right? You have relationships. Right. You have spiritual. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have physical health. Right, right. Um, and then, I mean, I guess you may have, like, mental health, right? Like, yeah. what do you... Feel like for you that you need for your mental, right? And right, right. There's right. there's all these, and it's probably more than that. But it's like everybody's top priority isn't money or yeah. isn't you know recognition and getting promoted and just all that right. stuff that's important to you, right? Because you're the leader, right? That's why you're in the position because you're in the leader, right? Right. Everybody doesn't want to be you. That's true. Right? That's true. Some people may, man, you know what? As long as I can, as long as I can work out, you know. Five times a week, I'm and good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't care. I can be living in a box. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> right. right? Man, some people can, you know, hey, long as I can, you know, continue to serve God, mm. um, man, that's all that's, that's all I care about. Right. You know, I don't, I don't care if that makes me having to travel. I never, I'm never home. Right. I travel all across. I go to the Philippines. I go to Africa. Mm. I go to, I don't know, so New Zealand. Right. Wherever, Dubai. right? Dubai. You know, only because I want to go. There we go. Hey, <laughs> pick a flight. This is one book a flight, man. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, like that just maybe was what's important. So like again, it's just you have to be able to balance that. Obviously, I'm talking about extremes, right? But 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 you know, people are a little more balanced, and sometimes it's hard because because they are so balanced, right? Sometimes it is hard to it's a little bit difficult to see um, what you know, kind of kind of difficult to see that okay. They just like what they do every day. Right. That's they don't true. mean that they want to be where you are. They just enjoy working with people. Right. That's or true. They just enjoy, you know, dealing with graphs and right. They don't they just enjoy drawing. <laughs> whatever your profession is, right? Like they just right. they don't wanna they don't wanna make more money. They don't wanna, you know, get closer to God. They don't wanna, you know. Yeah. I'm and all I, right. <laughs> and I think and the reason why I bring that stuff up because those those are people that listen to us, right? The people right. that listen to us. You guys are highly driven, highly motivated, mm-hmm. um, and it frustrates you whenever somebody's not, you know, doing that and right. doing the things that that are important to quote unquote you. That's true. So you have to figure out a way to get to your next level mm-hmm. at the same time keeping them happy in their level. That's true. That's true. That's see. That's about seeing the board. And then putting them in position, mm. you know what I mean? Like maybe they not they're not meant to drive, yeah. you know your um, your location, or you know maybe they're not trying to get a promotion. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're maybe they may just be there for customer service. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. They they do really good at it because they love people. They love talking to people. Yep. So you just got to put them on the board there. Stuff like that. And I think too, like again, talking about being your authentic self as a leader, mm-hmm. you need those people. You do. Like you, do. you need to hire right. or promote or whatever differently mm-hmm. than you are. That's true. That's true. Because those people are gonna be able to do things that you're not able to do. Yeah. Like I mean you can do it, but it ain't gonna be as fine. No. Nah. <laughs> somebody you know what I'm saying? Like, like terminology, right. Like right. <laughs> you know, like you can you can like all right, there's this event that needs to happen, and you're so driven, right? That you're thinking about the budget, you're thinking about this, you're thinking about that. You forget that it's an event. Let's have fun, right? <laughs> nah, man, trying to have no fun. You know, but like, you need somebody who will. Yeah, yeah like you need. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, you know what? You like to have fun. You're good at this. Hey, I'm gonna put you in charge of this. Right. Right. Oh, what? Let's let's do it. You know let's, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, let's go. Let's like, go. you have to empower the people around. You have to hire differently, and you have to empower them to empower them to do the things that they do well. Right. Right. And the things that they love to do. Right. Right. Dang. What? I was thinking about this. Uh, this other assessment. It talks about um, about um, Is build, it? building people on their strengths versus uh. Ooh, that's. Man, I want to talk about that on the purpose piece. Okay, all right. No, no, because I got because it's it's another it's a story for me this past week. Was it this past week? I think it was. Um, Even with like be more to do more, Mm -hmm. like I was like, one day I was like, man, what are we doing wrong? Mm -hmm. Like I keep looking at like what are we doing wrong? I drove myself in a frenzy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, let me go out take a walk. Took my son for a walk. Then I was praying. He's so healthy. Look at that. He, oh, this boy I'm talking about, all right, he was working already, right? <laughs> already thinking about, this is what I'm talking about, though, right? Like, I already thought, I hate to cut y'all, my bad. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't care anyway. <laughs> go ahead. All right, so, because we were just talking about different parts of people's lives, right? Right. <laughs> you already working because you're thinking about, okay, what can we do to get to the next level, right? Frustration, right? right? Whatever. You know what? Let me take a walk. Let me do some physical activity. Right. <laughs> and then you went to you know, talking to spiritual. Like you just you just hit on three of the things that like Oh yeah, and family, son. Yeah, for, oh man. I forgot what, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like I didn't even think about that though. Like, that, like it's a, but it's that subtle. Right. It's that subtle That's that crazy. like yeah. like we don't realize, but we just don't realize sometimes that like people are different and and even though you're super driven. Mm-hmm. You want to be successful. You want to be like, like have a successful network, all those things. Right. It's so ingrained in you, these other items that you don't even realize that you're That's doing. crazy. Man, you just gave me a whole session. And as a leader, <laughs> as a leader, you have to recognize those things, right? right. Like yeah, people yeah. have to like, like look at your team. Right. Realize what, like they may not even realize it. Yeah. That's 98% true. of the people, and this is, hang on. 98% of the people have no idea what they're doing. 
They have no idea why we're putting on this earth. <laughs> Man. They just they just drifting. Right. <laughs> Drifters. Just drifting. <laughs> Don't be a drifter. <laughs> and I'm not saying that you have to come along and like, hey, let's go. Let's do this. Let's, yeah, you can do it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, right. You can do it. You can do yeah, it. Hey, Little greatest corner, hey, right? You can do it. I'll go ahead. You ain't got to be that. <laughs> right. But I heard, um, I, you know, we went to the, um, to the, uh, Podcast festival recently, mm-hmm. um, Black Effect. Shout out Black Effect. And the guy was like, the guy was like, man, you changed my life. Or no, my life was changed just by. Dang, what he say? My, my um. He said, uh, just going through this experience changed my life. Now yes. I'll never be the same or something. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. And the thing that I want, like, like I want to point out in that is that because Charlemagne was like, he was like. I don't know that thing. Like it was like you could tell he was he like kind of yeah, he hit him. Yeah, like, on stage, you could just tell wow. it hit him, right? Yeah. And and then the guy later on goes and say, Man, he was like, he was like, me and you was life changing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But Charlemagne didn't know that. Wow. You know? Yeah. Like he didn't yeah. know that 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 was the part that so right. my my point is that it's not your job to make like it's not your job to like make the spark for them Ooh. or to create the like to put like it's your it's, it's your it's your job to open your minds wow not to push them towards it right but just hey have you noticed this about yourself i want to yeah it's not i mean i'll just i'm just curious I, you did a really good job at this did you, right. did you notice that you or hey did you know that you could do this did you know this was possible uh, yeah just let them know i'll yeah. them up to it yeah yeah like, yeah yeah yeah. I, I just see what you did with that because like, did you know that that man you could really be a great therapist see, and and that goes back to what you just said now you're helping them build on their strengths mm-hmm. you know like yo i didn't know i was good at this right okay let me build on this let me let me do some more yeah you know what i mean what else can i use this in yeah. you know what other air I want to talk about that in purpose too. Yeah, that, that yeah we're gonna go right deep in that. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, my, like again, my world is opening up, right? right. Like it's right. continues, like, and that's why you got to continue to develop yourself, right? You can't. That's true. Again, as a leader, right, being your authentic self, you should have a level of of self growth. You should have yeah. a, gro- a yeah. growth plan, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's true. Because once you start growing, like, that's another piece of just, man, like. It just get dicey, man. Get right. like your whole your whole world, your whole life get dicey because you just going, you know, you just going you, you become a drifter. They say once you stop growing, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> I, I, there's a um there's a I don't know if it's a quote or what, but it says, um what did it say? Uh most people most people in the world die at twenty five. And it's and like person looked at them crazy, like what you talking about? Like, wow. like the average death rate is like seventy years old or something like that. Eighty, right. I don't know what it is, but right. um, it's like yeah, but like most people stop dreaming at twenty five. Oh, man, they reach that point where they just mm, this is who I am. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's heavy. That's so, heavy. And they drifting. They just drift. That book talked about that. I think a Did little it? bit. I think a, I'm. You said something that sparked something that I feel like it went back to the book. Yeah. Yeah. So. Bro, hey, it's in, hey. My, 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 uh, shout out my dog Nick. My boy, Nick like it ain't in me. It's, I mean, it ain't on me. It's in me. It's in me. <laughs> <laughs> it's in me, man. It's in me, man. <sighs> okay. That's okay. How I come out, though, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. So, um, you got a scripture else? for us? I think I did. I give one. I don't remember. <laughs> Might have gave one. I don't know, man. I uh, know. Nah, I don't uh, think you gave a scripture. You know what? I don't have a scripture. Yeah. Nah, we gotta get a scripture. Well, what, get for authenticity? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. Who was who was the most authentic person in the Bible? Peter. Peter. To me, you said that quick. You said nah, because Peter was a why wow, Peter was a G. Nah, they say he was a he was cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Peter used to curse. Peter was uh, and, and the thing about Peter, man, he he asked the most questions, mm-hmm. like, but he wasn't afraid of the answers. Even it got to the point where, you know, Jesus said, I'm, I'm going to be leaving here. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to die. And Peter said, no, you ain't. <laughs> no, Jesus you had ain't. Jesus was like, get thee he behind. Thought you was about to die. <laughs> get thee behind me, Satan. He called that man Satan. Yeah. <laughs> Peter was the most authentic. But even in that, man, like, he was also one of the greatest apostles. You know, mm-hmm. uh, him and um, um, Apostle Paul. Where's that, where's that story at? 
What story? The of Peter in kind of the like you think behind me, Satan. Yeah. No, uh, let me find it. But Peter was Peter was authentic to the point where, but it it was authenticity, but it was also pride. Mm-hmm. You can tell it was pride because uh, Jesus also told him that you know the enemy is gonna come and sift you like wheat. Dang. You know. <laughs> he told him that. Yeah. Dang. But it happened because uh, yeah. when um, Jesus got betrayed. Oh yeah. First of all, he cut the, he cut one of the guy's ears off. <laughs> Peter, I told you he was a thug, bro. Peter was a gangster, man. Don't sleep on Peter, man. Everybody need a Peter in their circle, man. Yeah. But dang, you know what though? Was that? Because Peter's the one that denied Jesus too, right? That's where I was going. At, but at the end of the day, when all that happened, he denied Jesus three times. Dang. Like, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna get there. We're gonna, we're gonna. I'm going because this ain't this ain't JT in this, right? So I'm, gonna, I'm. Let's, no, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Is it worse? Okay, being an authentic self, right? Mm-hmm. And there's some relationships that that people are being an authentic self. You just need to get from around them, right? Right. So you take Judas mm-hmm. and Peter. Judas just gave him up, and you know, obviously, you know, I don't even know. If, I don't. Know, I'm sure God gave forgive. Did he forgive Judas? Or? I don't know. I heard. And, uh, and Judas committed suicide after okay, that. Okay. So he. Okay. <laughs> But my point is, is like, what makes I don't know. I'm just just gonna gonna chat about it. Go ahead. What makes the different? What what makes Jude? What makes intentions. Peter? Go ahead. What, yeah. What makes Peter different from Judas? Intentions. Nah. Talk to me. Intentions. Nah. Intentions. I ain't going for it. Talk to me. Intentions. Make it make sense. Because so even though Peter had pride, his questions were they were authentic. Like you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. something like he would ask questions that would Jesus was kind of he would kind of. Giving him an answer like in a, a sharp tongue kind of way, mm-hmm. in, a, in, a, in a sense. But Peter was more like his intentions were like clear. Not Judas, with, no, no, Judas, no, no, no. Because when they asked him, "Hey, do you know this man?" He was like, "I don't know who that nigga. <laughs> I don't know who that man is." <laughs> well, I mean, but Judas gave him up for money, and he. Peter didn't get no money from it. That's even worse. At least, at least Judas got something from it. But you gave up Jesus for money. Think about it. Think but about he the denied intentions. Jesus for nothing. Think about it. Yeah, because he was scared. He didn't want to get killed. Yeah, he was scared. So why did that make him better? Like, why do, why do we look at him? I ain't, say, I ain't saying he's better, but I'm saying the intentions. Like, Peter really loved Jesus. But Judas, you can just tell that. Judas mm. had something in his heart, like it was mm. you. You you can see it play because I think mm. from what the scholars were saying, um, and I have to do my research. Let me just put this out here because I don't like to put things out of context. Uh, that, from what I heard, that Judas was over, you know, the money or whatever mm-hmm. or whatever. So I believe that Judas has it was something in his heart. You know, and Jesus knew it. Mm-hmm. You know, he. It, he knew it from day one, but that was his tool to get to the cross. So, hmm. yeah, it, it was a tool. Hmm. But Peter really loved Jesus, and think about it: you about to die. Oh, I'm about it, it, Jesus saying I'm about to you know leave or whatever. And people like, no, you ain't. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, no, you know what I mean? Because he really. Loved Do you think he said that more selfishly though? Yeah, it was selfish. Okay. But it was. But think about it. When anybody close to us dies, selfish. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We don't think about what's happening to them. We're thinking about, <laughs> you know, us. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. Us That's not real. having them around. That's real. But you know, it's kind of like that conversation we were saying like earlier about about um, or before just like how I just I don't I ain't gonna say I don't get sad when people die because I definitely get sad, mm-hmm. but I understand that people have to die. Yeah. Like yeah. I like I don't like. If my if if someone was close to me was to die today, it'd just be like, dang. Right. I'd be like, dang. Like, I'm happy I was able to enjoy that person. That person during right. the time they were here. But it won't right. be like, I won't go into a depression about it. Right. Um Maybe I need some help. Nah, it it would it would hurt. I would I would hurt. I would hurt. You, yeah, you're gonna hurt. Yeah, you definitely hurt. gonna hurt. But it's not gonna why, because at the end of the day, like <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm going to a totally different topic. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, it, 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 would, it would definitely hurt. But I think I, for me, 
would it hurt for selfish? Probably a selfish reason because I probably have some resentment that mm-hmm. you know I didn't spend enough time or something like that. See, I don't feel that way. That's yeah, like if that's I selfish. if I choose if I choose not to call somebody, like I intentionally choose. Like I feel like I'm, <laughs> I, I, I guess I feel like I'm I'm so intentional. With, like I I know I only have a certain amount of time. Right. Period. Like on Earth, just in a day, in a whatever. Right. Right. Um. Right. I know that. Right. So with me knowing that. Um, I'm just, and it's no, it's no, no, no slight to anybody that I don't call or no, nothing like that. But it's like, all right, if I know that I got so much time, right. I know I need to spend this time with, with um, I'm gonna say people that are important to me, but because I think there's a lot of people that's important to me that I just don't talk to. Right. But I made a choice at that point. Right. But, you know, it, but I guess that's just the reason why, again, just kind of being authentic self, like, I understand what my goals are and what I, right. like, you know, and just, like, I would love to spend time with everybody yeah. that's important to me. Time is limited. Yeah, it's just not realistic. Yeah, like, that's true. It's just that's not true. realistic. Um, yeah. So, But, yeah, between those two, man, I, I believe it, it was really intentions. I believe that Peter was really there, even though, you know, he, I don't, I wouldn't say he betrayed Jesus. He just, that wasn't a betrayal. That was mm-hmm. more like a denial. Like, nah, I ain't trying to get caught up. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like, but what Peter, I mean, what Judas did, come on, man. So is it okay for a, a little bit of cheating? What you mean? <laughs> nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. I Jude, don't know, man. Just, I Jude, just, I... Judas had to, Judas had to, he had to put forth, like, Action to make this happen. You're right. He had to go out his way. You, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. But this is like somebody catching you off guard. No, no, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know what? You're right. You know what? It's 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 intentionality. You're right. You're right. Intention, purpose. You're right. It's, that was his yeah. purpose. Yeah. You know, the purpose. But it, I, and I think it paints, paints a good picture, too, of, of, man, you can really love somebody or really, like, and unintentionally... I don't know if you can unintentionally horn them, but because you know, like, yeah, you what's can. The, what's the point in them putting that in the Bible of him denying him three times? Well, like, why did Jesus even say that? Like, why, like, hey, before the clock hits whatever or whatever it was, you're gonna deny me. You're gonna deny me three. Like, why was that been? Like, why was why would he even need to say that? Like, well, what, I think what that purpose a, did they have? That was a change point in uh, Peter's life because after Jesus resurrected, Jesus asked Peter, "Do you love me three times?" And then Peter broke down. So you Dang. you knew that that was a that was a changing point in Peter's life. Yeah, you know, like that was going from him being a disciple mm-hmm. to now. Okay, you love me, you know. Yeah, because think about it. You he he really loved Jesus. Yeah. So you don't think Jesus knew that he had to deal with the fact that he denied him. Like mm-hmm. if you love somebody, you did not like you got to deal with that guilt. That man went back to fishing mm-hmm. after Jesus died. You know what I mean? You say that in the Bible? Yeah. I got to read the Bible. More. Yeah, man. It, it, this is an Acts, man. The Acts is long, and it's just, ah. Uh, but man went back to, you know what I mean? That's where he saw Jesus when after Jesus resurrected, and then they had to. The, Wait, know. he went with the, because it was like some people. Remember Jesus was like kind of walking around after he died? Yeah, yeah. All it, that happened, too. But that was, that was, so it talked about that in Acts as well? Yeah, yeah, or was yeah. Was that the yeah, same yeah. time, or was it like a totally different time? I think it's a total difference. See, you gonna make me go back. To All right, sorry, study. man. Sorry, man. Nah. I, I, I'm, just, <laughs> but I'm yeah. just curious. I'm sorry. I'm just but curious. Yeah. I'm being my authentic self right now. I'm just a curious individual. No, so. that's cool. But that see, <laughs> see that 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 happened for Peter. But Peter, Peter still remained the same authentic person. He boldly began to preach the gospel, even though people was trying to kill uh, believers and Christians. You know, he still. Did his apostle thing because mm-hmm. he really loved Jesus. Like Jesus asked him three times, "Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me?" He broke down. You know I do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And this was a moment where Peter had to face the fact that yeah, I denied Jesus, mm-hmm. but he also had to face the fact that Jesus forgave me. Hey, uh. <laughs> hey, 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 Jesus would. Hey, Jesus would. Hey, he don't mind. I don't know, man. Maybe I maybe I get maybe I get my directness from Jesus because he don't mind telling you he the telling way, you about yourself. He the way, the truth, and the light, bro. <laughs> with me, see, that's why with Christians, bro. Oh, speaking about authenticity, oh, the reason why, like, uh, you know, I struggle with getting along with some some of the Christians 
because they put on a Christian face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But they don't understand that Jesus said that I'm the way, the truth, and the life. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, yeah. you're going to know about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So when you put it on and you're not taking accountability for yourself, that lets me know that eh, you ain't no believer mm. because you ain't, you ain't dealing with what I'm not saying he, he have to deal with you the same way, but you will see some truth about yourself, mm. but also you'll see some grace. Yeah. You know, you'll see why he came and died for us and resurrected for us. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, he love us, he give us grace, but he also give us truth, you know, yeah. and that we can begin to love other people in their truth and stuff like that. So Boom. we're going to end it on that. Cool. Love people in their truth. In their truth. In their truth. <laughs> I wanted to do that. Uh, when you said something, I wanted to do that too, but I just found it. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Amen. Hey, Amen. Y'all be sure to like, subscribe. Share this information. Uh, this is only audio, so download this. Yeah. <laughs> I would say hit the bell. We might put this up. Hit the bell. Hit the bell, man. Hit the bell. You already know. We good, bro? Let's talk about it. When the last time you told right, somebody, you can get ahead. Nobody's concerned about it. Stick and move. We can get it done. Call it unity. It ain't no way around it. Cultivating. We get motivation from the big guy. We don't play about it. Going hard for the game. Showing love. I don't tolerate it.